guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team. Welcome to the Divi form builder documentation. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a simple user registration form using the Divi form builder plugin. So let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so here we are on the back end of my Divi site and I have a page already open, but you can add this on any old page you have in your Divi install. First, I'm gonna go add the module and I'm just gonna type in form here and use the Divi form builder module. I like to use the visual mode. I like to see what I'm doing. And I am gonna go and just type a title, registration form. And you can, of course, customize that however you like. And then for form type, of course, we will define it as user registration form. Now, you'll see a few more options on here, like is user edit form. Basically what that means is if you have this form placed in the My Account area for the user, what it'll do then is allow you to edit those fields and resave them to the database with the changed values. We're not doing this in this example, but that is just for you to know. And of course, they need to be logged in at that point in time. They cannot be um, non-registered users in the My Account area. They would need to be registered and logged in to the account already. So just so you guys know that. Now, next up, we need to decide for this particular form, what type of user role are we assigning when they register? And as you can tell, these are just the basic Divi ones in here, administrator, editor, author, contributor, and subscriber. Now, if you have WooCommerce installed, you might be able to add customer to that list. And then maybe you wanna collect some more fields from the users, like maybe their address and that type of thing. So that is for you to know. And those are the different things that you can do with that. Now, for a user registration page, what we're gonna need would probably firstly be a field for the username. So let's add that username and that will just be a normal input field. We'll make this optional. No, let's make it required, why not? And that is that for this one. Now, as you guys know, you can go and add icons and all crazy things. We'll just add the label position to top so we can see what we're doing. Now, next up, we'll need the user's email address. So we'll just type email in here. And then for field type, we go email field. This is going to be required as well. And we will do the same with adding the label to the top. And it's nice to see how it kind of just fills in there with the visual boulder compatibility. You see exactly what you're doing. And of course, to style all those things, you just go to the design tab. All right, so next up, password, probably important one password and you guessed it field type will be password field this is absolutely going to be required and we will also add that label to the top lastly we want to make sure that our users confirm their password so we will say password password <laughs> confirmation I'm typing too fast. Okay, and then we will just add the password field here. That will also be required. And we will add the label. I mean, sometimes you wanna do that, maybe not. Maybe you'll use a placeholder instead. Maybe I'll do that here. Confirm your password. I will show you the kind of the two different ways to do this. Um, and that should be good. Now next what we need to do and you could have probably done this while you're setting up your fields, but I wanted to show this to you separately, is to map those fields to the according um, or the related fields in the database. Okay, so first thing for the mapping, we need to go to the username. And then here, we will scroll down to mapping options. And here we have the field mapping type. We have to select the user fields for, because this is the fields that map to the users. Now, one thing that you just want to also think about here is that um, there are a bunch of different mapping options in here, as you can tell. If you want to know more about that, check out the video that's linked in the description of this one or check out the documentation at help.devengine.com. We'll stay focused here, though. And go and select the correct field here. Now, I named this field username and Instinct would say, oh yeah, that's the right one. We actually wanna select login name here. It's just the one that WordPress uses to validate new users. 
So select that one and then we can say, okay. Next up is email, same thing, mapping options. For mapping type, we will select the user field and then the email address that is associated. And that one's done. Next up, password. Scroll down to mapping options. You guessed it, user field and password. There we go. That's good. And then lastly, we want to match up that confirmation, mapping options, user field, and then password confirm down here. Save that, save that, and that should be it. So why don't we go ahead and take a look on the front end and see what this looks like and whether it actually works. Okay, so here we are with our form on the front end. I'll just type in a name, test, and a fake email, which is test at test.com. And just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for the password, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for the confirmation. And let's submit that. And no thank you, Chrome, not now. And thank you for your message. We will be in touch shortly. Now, of course, you can customize that right over here where you have your notices. And maybe you want to put something that's a little bit more relevant, like, thank you for registering or something like that. You know what I mean? So let's quickly look at the back end um, for the user page here and click on users. Yes, I'll discard that. I just made that one change and here you'll see it. Test at my details here, test at test.com with the editor role assigned. So there you guys have it. Really quick intro on building a basic user registration form and so many different things you can do with it. So that's gonna be it for me for this video. If you guys have questions that were not answered by this video, check out the documentation at help.deviengine.com. Otherwise, submit a support ticket to our awesome support team and somebody there will be sure to help you out. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.